I just want to go over some things with you, uh, with everything that's going on, to give some people some hope, give maybe some people some faith that we're going to get through this whole situation with the coronavirus, and to sow seeds of love. So, um, right now with everything that's going on in the world with coronavirus, maybe you're a Christian who's lost your way, uh, you lost your faith, lost your touch. Uh, maybe you're a person who doesn't know whether there is a God, you're kind of on the fence, or maybe you're a non-believer as well. Um, well, I'm here to tell you that there is a God. And it's actually one of my favorite scriptures, not the favorite, but one of my favorites. It's uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 13, where the Apostle Paul is talking about his conversation that he had with Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ told him that the now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So it's important to know that we are all loved by God. You are loved by God. We are all loved by God. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're young, old, white, black, male, female, skinny, fat, healthy, unhealthy. God loves everybody. It's the same thing with our, our fellowship and our church that I belong to. We love on everybody. So we invite everyone to come to our church. Um, so with faith is how we're going to get through this. Maybe you're a person who's really hyper and you're climbing the walls right now because you can't go outside with being shut in. I'm hyper myself. Uh, there's only so many like uh, Friends and Seinfeld reruns you can watch before you start to lose your mind. Um, there's no sports. So if you think about that, I think what God is doing is he's actually intentionally trying to get us to stay at home and not tap into social media as much because he wants us to talk to him. He wants us to pray to him. I really believe that. So have faith that God will get us through this situation because he will. Uh, hope. When I was in Iraq and I did my combat missions in Iraq, I used to envision mentally what my life would be like when I got home from Iraq. Um, that way it gave me a future hope. Okay. So you have to have hope in order to be able to move forward. You have to have a future. And the greatest of these is love. Okay. Uh, I'm going to challenge people to try and be more loving to each other right now in this time of crisis. And I know I'm also speaking to myself because uh, I tend to want to, uh, you know, when someone cuts me off in traffic, I want to do the same thing just like you. I want to like cuss them out or I want to, um, you know, yell at them or something like that. But I really believe that what you need to do is to not cuss them out. You know, maybe pray for them in your mind. Dear Lord Jesus, please help that person. And sow seeds of love because that's what Jesus did. He sowed seeds of love. So if we practice faith, hope, and love, we'll definitely get through these trying times. So be blessed.